Hey, what's up? My name is Tacklist, and today we're going to be looking at a tutorial that it was a request. This is a tutorial for a spell casting menu. Something that you can open up on the fly and select a spell that binds to one button and it um, allows you to cast different spells from that one button. So, let's give it a shot. So, right now, the spell I have is this really short range fireball. I can open up the menu, scroll down to let's say the nature orb, select it, and then shoot it. And it has a higher rate of fire, longer range, but does less damage. Then I could choose fiery sphere. It's not particularly fiery, but it has a super long range, super high speed. And then lightning strike, when you use it, calls in lightning. So, that's the idea. Let's get into it. Now, this is the kind of thing that you can easily split up into a logic cube to make your player brain uh, not as big, but I'm gonna do this all inside of the player brain. So, let me delete, delete the code that I was using. There we go. All right, so this is just a default character, which I can actually go into the brain gallery, grab a new third person adventure, First things first, we need to tweak a couple of things. This Y is what the spell cast button is gonna be. But first we're gonna go down here and remove this strafe because we're gonna use B to select from the menu. First things first, we're going to make the different spells. Now the spells we're going to make in under Y. So Y, I'm gonna do pressed so it's single fire. Then when, let's make a new numeric variable called spell when spell equals zero now remember all numeric variables default to zero so this will be the default spell that he casts when he hasn't selected anything yet so then shoot and we're gonna choose fireball launch and then we can choose, oh, I don't know. Launch frequency is a good one. And then this is how many shots per second, so I'm gonna put that to two. With damage, to do 20 damage. And yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna copy and paste this a few times. Make this one. Make this a new object, not in world picker, new object. And this one, if I remember right, I called something like Nature Orb. So I'm going to pick the little green glowing orb. We're going to increase its rate of fire. And decrease its damage. And then maybe let's do at speed. Let's make this a slow projectile. 10. Then we're going to do the fiery orb. Which I'm going to use a red spark but you could use the actual fireball if you felt traditional launch frequency I'm gonna leave that at 2 at speed let's make this one a high speed one so like 70 and of course you can't forget to change the number on the spell menu to 2 and then 3 this one's going to shoot a Blue spark, because blue is like electric or something. Sure. And we're going to make this one very slow firing rate because of how powerful it is. Bump the damage up to... Let's just bump it right up to 50. So, these are your different spells. You can have as many of these as you want. Um, you just have to remember what uh, spell number they correspond to. So, that's the basics of it. Now, for the sake of to make this an actual lightning shot we have to go and make a new line of code when spell equals three when uh, attack hit enemies we're going to play effect lightning and I'm going to use my purchase lightning strike because it's prettier 
but and a weird issue this sometimes has is it uh sometimes it makes them it, it strikes in their torso and leaves that nice glowing sphere or ring around their torso rather than at their feet so it's a little issue weird issue there um so this is the basics of it the reason i couldn't put this line of code as a child line here is that this only functions while y is pressed and your shot will take a little bit to get to target so you won't be pressing y anymore next let's do our menu i'm gonna have the menu so first want to start with the boolean variable called spells menu spells menu is false we're gonna do countdown timer 0.5 and then when um, I'm gonna use right bumper but you can use whatever button you want when right bumper pressed spells menu equals true next copy and paste that and when it's true and it's pressed it will equal false this is how you can toggle it on and off with one button next when spells equals true we're going to do uh, when d-pad up pressed and we're gonna make a numeric variable called selector decrement by one copy and paste that line then down direction increment by one now we are going to only have four options but the first option starts at zero so it's going to go from zero to three and we're going to make this a looping or a looping menu so when you get to zero and you press up, it'll loop back down to three. So when selector equals zero, then selector equals three. If you have more than three menu items, then you can just expand these numbers. Then greater than three, selector equals zero. There we go. Now, one selector equals two zero we're actually going to do the menu display we're going to call this fireball oh let me redo that i don't want the stupid slash fireball then we're going to put this bottom left we're going to make the font size large we're going to Oh, let's see. Do priority. Now, I'm going to put this to 10. We're not going to have 10 elements, but it's always a good idea to put your priority much, much higher than what you think your uh, cap is going to be, just in case you decide to add stuff. And then the color blue. Now, while you're selected on this, when be pressed do um, spell type equals zero and just for fun I'm gonna do started to play sound um, UI pause or UI pause we're going to do that and overlapping. So then copy and paste that. Oh, don't delete that line. Delete that line. And then when not equal to zero, we're going to leave the code exactly the same, except we're going to go to white. Then copy and paste that again, scooch it down. This one, when it's equal to one, spell cast equals one. We're going to rename it to nature orb. 
and we need to reduce the priority by one. I hope you're starting to see the uh, pattern to this. Not equal to one. I'm going to make this white. Now you could also, instead of making the color, you could do text, new text, and like add a dash, and then throw a plus in. That way when you selected it, it's like this dash is moving up and down the page. But we're just going to stick to colors for now. The difference between your non-equal selector and your equal to selector is what is going to appear on the page as your menu item, so to speak. So then when selector equals 2, I'm going to make this fiery sphere. I hope you guys come up with more creative names than I did. Going to change the priority. Going to set this to 2. Rinse. And repeat. Not equal to 2 white and then last one equals three you know probably someone out there has made a cleaner menu system but this is the one that I made up a while back and I'm happy with it so if someone's made a better UI let me know and then this is lightning strike there we go you need to lower the priority make this three there we go not equal to three priority stays the same it's the color I need to change there we go I think that's the entirety of it um, let's give that a shot so default spell is the first one we open up the, our bumper, we can scroll down and it cycles just fine and we can scroll up and it cycles. So I can do fiery sphere, press B and hmm, looks like I'm still shooting the fireball. All right, looks like we're still shooting the same spell over and over. So let's see what I did wrong. I think I have a suspicion. I may have used different named variables in the uh, tutorial rather than, yeah. In my practice, I called the this um, spell type, but in this tutorial, I just called it spell. So in my menu, I made these all spell type. All right, I'll throw an annotation on the screen earlier to make it spell, not spell type. There we go. Just like that, it's all fixed up. So, nature orb, perfect. Nice and slow. Fiery sphere, oh yeah. Fast and vicious. And then lightning strike. Woo! Yeah, see how it kind of makes that ring in the air? It doesn't make a lot of sense. But, I think it still looks pretty. Now, an interesting little issue the way that I've built this is I've been focusing 100% on spells, not a new melee. But the way I have it built right now, if I punch this dude, it zaps him. So, um, you might want to spend a little more time on the effect than I did. So, but this is how you make a spells menu. Um, so, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm really glad I could do this video. Sounded like the person who requested it was fairly stumped on it. And I've done this kind of thing before and it's helpful. Um, I hope this is what they wanted. If it's not, let me know in the comments below. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys.